We talked to our kids about the dangers of drinking and driving. Never did we think we would have had to talk to our kids about the dangers of alcohol poisoning, binge drinking. Zach came home from work that day and he said, Mom, I think I'm gonna go to Murray and hang out with my buddy. Never in a million years did we think Zach was gonna go down there and go to a party. Uh, he'd always told us that there was always uh, some live bands and some music down there. It was a Sunday morning. Our daughter had just gotten her motorcycle's license, so we all three went for a ride, and we were at Linville Park. And actually, my daughter got the phone call. I thought that somebody was pranking me because they asked for the parents of Zach Wardrop. I was like, I mean, what's going on? I went over to her and I said, this is Zachary's mom. What's going on? And he said, this is Callaway County Coroner's office. Coroner. And I said, is Zach okay? And he said, no, ma'am, he's not. And I said, is, is Zach dead? And he said, yes, ma'am, he is. The scream that my mom let out, like it, it still gives me chills to this day. I'm thankful that I was with my parents when I got that phone call because I don't know how I would have handled it had they not been right there with me. There's nobody like him. He was the most caring person I think I ever met. If I needed something, he was there no matter what he was doing. If he was sleeping, it was three o'clock in the morning. I called him, he'd answer first ring. It's just how he was. He did the Cub Scouts, he did the Boy Scouts, the Pinewood Derby races. We were very, very involved with our kids growing up, so we did everything together with them. When Zach got his license, you know, he started getting in the trucks and four-wheel drives, and his same core friends, they would work on their trucks together, and they would hang out together, and they would go four-wheeling together. A lot of things we did together was spent out in Dogtown, just driving, listening to music. It was always an outdoor adventure. We'd hang out with all of our buddies, and. We'd go mudding, which we weren't supposed to. <laughs> I got him a job at the truck wash, Blue Beacon. Every night we worked four to midnight. So we'd go to school during the day, get off, and then we'd go bow fish until three or four in the morning. It's almost like having a brother, because I don't have a brother, I have two sisters. So he was the closest thing I had to one. I think my favorite thing with him was he was kind and big hearted, and he always made everything fun. <laughs> I mean, for him, it, it was anything was possible. Like, he was just so optimistic. He didn't, he never saw the negative in anything. He was such a loving person. There was not a single person he met that he didn't like. He loved his sister very much. He, he wanted to be by her all the time. <laughs> he would go to Starbucks and he would buy her a coffee and he would buy her a donut or whatever and sit at her front door that he would leave and call her. And she'd open her door up and there'd be Starbucks and a muffin or something. Gosh, he had the best laugh. He was somebody that you could spend all day with and you guys would never stop laughing. He wanted to go to Alaska and weld on the pipelines. His dad and him spent two weeks out there and he fell in love with it. Zach loved to hunt, fish, and Alaska has all that. And there's plenty of jobs up here, plenty of welding jobs, so it was everything he wanted all wrapped up into one. The Zach Wardrum Foundation was started in memory of my brother to bring awareness to the dangers of binge drinking and, and alcohol poisoning. Know the signs and symptoms of alcohol poisoning. Don't be afraid to call or text 911 for someone who needs help. You know, I have an 18-year-old daughter and I don't ever want to experience what they've experienced firsthand. And I want to make sure that we get the word out about the Indiana Lifeline Law and make sure that everyone is aware that there is help. It provides immunity for anyone who calls or takes 911 for a medical emergency for someone who's had too much to drink. You never want to just leave the person and let them sleep it off. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. 
I just want parents to talk to their kids and let them know that alcohol can take your life in a matter of less than an hour. 42% of teens who die from alcohol poisoning, it was their very first time drinking. Zach was your typical kid. If, if it could happen to Zach, it could happen to anybody. This gives us all a chance to be able to educate our children from this point forward. If one family doesn't receive the phone call that the warders received, it, it's, it's every bit of it's worth it. I think a lot of kids and teens that do drink underage, they're afraid to call someone because they're afraid to get in trouble. And that's why the Indian Lifeline Law was created. It's okay, it's okay to call 911. If Zach knew that he was able to save one child, he would have the biggest smile on his face and say, Mom, Dad, I'm proud of you.